An Idaho judge has ordered the home where four University of Idaho students were killed to remain untouched and still a crime scene, at least for now. The defense has asked the home be preserved until at least February 1st. It's coming as suspect Brian Koberger appeared in an Idaho court for the very first time yesterday. It's the first step on a presumed long road to justice for the victims and their families. Senior national correspondent Brian Inton is live in Moscow. Brian, we just got some brand new video of officials back at the victim's home. Yeah, this is all happening right now. Uh, we just got this video within the last couple of minutes. Our producer is over at the house. We're outside the jail. Uh, Brian Koberger being held in the jail behind me. But at the house right now, take a look at this. Uh, there's action at the house. Detectives have shown back up at the crime scene. Uh, which is just about five minutes or so from here. You can see the, the tape is up. There's two pickup trucks there in the driveway, and it appears that they are loading mattresses into the back of those pickup trucks uh, right now, which is interesting because at one point they began to clear uh, this crime scene. It sounded like they were going to open it back up about a week ago. Then the judge decided, no, we're going to keep it a crime scene. And then today, detectives back out there. Uh, they're there right now, again, taking stuff out of the house, and it appears among the items that they are removing, uh, they have taken several mattresses outside of the house. And I'm looking at the video. I do recognize those two men, uh, at least one of them as Moscow uh, police, at least one of them as a Moscow police detective. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we had the big court hearing here yesterday. A uh, family is still processing uh, that they are now going to be going through uh, this court process. Brian Koberger never looked at the victim's families in court Thursday, only looking in the direction of his lawyer and the judge. Kaylee Gonzalez's parents were sitting right behind him. I just looked at a guy that looks like a normal, everyday you know, kid. I mean, I, I didn't see anything there that caught my eye. Um, I, I just was overtaken by the fact that I was in a, you know, in a courtroom going over a case that had to do with two people that I cared and loved about. It was a little bit un, uh, unreal. Unreal to be in the same room as the man accused of killing your daughter. It will be a long, drawn-out court process for the victims' families. And all indications so far are Koberger plans to plead not guilty. The death penalty is on the table in Idaho, but the prosecutor and families would have to be on board. I'm assuming Definitely. that you are in favor of the death penalty yeah. for this defendant. If our daughters could switch places with him, and I'm saying Maddie is my daughter. Um, we would do it in a heartbeat if they could sit there and have three squares, uh, a place to live, and we could call them. We could write yeah. them letters. They could watch TV. They could do, get educated. I would love if Maddie and uh, Keely were doing life in prison right now. Yeah, so. At least we could talk to them. That's not. They'd be breathing. A punishment equivalent to being killed. That's God's role. And if you want to play you know God's it. role, then you're going to have to. You're going to have to go answer to him. Okay, so you heard from the Gonzalez family there saying that they are for the death penalty in this case. Uh, still a long way to go, though, before any official decision would be made. Obviously, the prosecutor would have to look everything over, would have to meet with all of the families. I would be through the process, you know, quite a bit of time from now before they would make an official decision uh, about whether to pursue the death penalty, Nicole. All right, and Brian, of course, you know, you've been covering this from the very beginning. As you know, we've been soliciting viewer questions on social media. So we want to present you with a couple of those. We start with one. Uh, this first one is asking, so the public will no longer have access to any details of this case from today moving forward and throughout the trial. Is that an accurate statement? That's coming from a viewer, Brian. Yeah, so that's a really good question. No, it is not an accurate statement. We will have access to all of the court hearings, and they are allowing cameras in court here in Idaho, and a lot of information will be coming out in court. So all of that will be new, and we will be there every step of the way. Uh, what we won't have access to is interviewing the police or interviewing the prosecutors or the defense. Uh, the, uh, the judge has decided that they cannot do interviews uh, while the court process plays out. Yeah, which makes sense. Important clarification there. All right, Brian, one more before we let you go this time. Uh, was any evidence found at Brian Koberger's Washington apartment? At his Washington apartment, yes. Uh, we were there. Nancy Liu, our correspondent, was there as they brought out boxes and boxes of evidence. They were there for six hours or so uh, pulling stuff out of his apartment. They also searched his office on the WSU uh, campus, Washington State University, and they also searched 
uh, his parents' home in Pennsylvania, and they brought evidence out of all of those places. Uh, so they're going o over all of that now. Keep in mind, Nicole, that probable cause affidavit that we talked so much about yesterday, that's just a little bit of what they know and what they have. There's still so much uh, that's going to be coming out in the coming weeks. Absolutely. And our viewers can see on the screen right now, if you have questions for Brian Enton, just head to social media, use the hashtag News Nation. We will try to get them to him. Brian will be back throughout rush hour to answer more questions. Brian, thank you for that reporting. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.